This Gear Talk is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Let's talk a little bit about how we fished up here in Nicola Valley this week uh, for rainbow trout, and it's very similar to how we lindy rig for walleye. First, I started off with a one ounce uh, slider weight, protected by a little bead to a swivel. Now, that was with 20 pound sunline braid. From the swivel there, I went to 14 pound super sniper from sunline, fluorocarbon. It had to be invisible. They didn't want to see anything. Now, when we were on uh, Stump Lake, we went with about a six foot, eight foot leader, and we were able to pick up some fish. For whatever reason on Roche Lake, they wanted it long. We started out at six to eight feet, no bites. 12 feet, no bites. And we ended up going with 16 feet of leader. And you'll see, that's why it looked a little bit cumbersome when we had them at the boat netting, but we wouldn't have been netting fish if we didn't go with that long leader. I always say, the fish will tell you what they want. You just have to listen. And they told us they wanted a long leader. On the end of that leader was a bingo bug uh, from Lucky Bug Lures. There is a variety of patterns that work, but anything with the browns or any speckles in there uh, really seemed to work. Trolling it behind that long leader and that action was going. And a lot of times it just, boom, they couldn't resist it. Now, remember when you're fishing here in uh, Nicola Valley, pinch the barb, single barbless. Simply do it with your pliers, roll it around and go fishing. If you're looking for a trout fisherman's paradise for a variety of species, I highly encourage you to come down to Nicola Valley in British Columbia and fish a lake a day for as long as you stay. This segment has been brought to you by Hooked Magazine, Hooked on Fishing in the Great Outdoors, and Lucky Bug Lures. Get hooked on Lucky Bug Lures.